what's good, my patch propellers. Got to dip a little low, man. You know what I'm saying? A little toss. So I'm gonna lean on the little. Uh, I'm leaning on the wall like we at the high school lockers or something. So check this out, man. Today, today, I'm about to go to the gym right now. But today we're gonna make what I call super green shredded chicken elite thin spaghetti. All right. Sometimes I use uh, this here, the super green uh, spaghetti or I use rotini. I use rotini as well, they make a rotini like that. Preferably I use a rotini, but because I prefer the rotini, I ran out of those. <laughs> so what I have left is the super green thin spaghetti. Now this is the thing, what is this made of? I'm gonna show y'all this up close, all right? So this is thin spaghetti, right? So it's made of spinach, zucchini, broccoli, parsley, and kale. All right, so this is how you get, there's three servings of vegetables in one portion of this. So if you find yourself like me and you struggle to get your portions of vegetables in when you're on the run, hey, problem solved, man. You go to your grocery store. I got this from Food Lion. Uh, you can go to your grocery store and get this and you're in the game, you know? So you in the game, man. Uh, I feel extremely healthy, obviously, when I eat this. Uh, Majority of my diet is pretty much that, man. I don't even call it a diet, it's really a lifestyle. So vegetables, fruits, water, a lot of water, um, lean meats, that's really my uh, lifestyle. But check this out. What I have here is um, everything spicy, everything, lemon and garlic, garlic lovers, pizza and taco, flavor God seasoning. So if, you never, if you're not hip to the flavor God, it's pretty much a, imagine the Mrs. Dash, on steroids, right? A uh, Mrs. Dash on steroids. Uh, they have a, an extremely ketogenic friendly uh, plethora of flavors. It's made out of real, it's made out of real uh, vegetables, you know, so they cut it up real good. The ingredients consist of, for example, onions, garlic, sea salt, California chili peppers for this one in particular, cumin powder, paprika. I mean, it's all natural. And the sodium uh, intake in this is 40 milligrams versus like high sodium salt and stuff like that. So just imagine like a Mrs. Dash on steroids, but it's not even comparable because Mrs. Dash has nothing on this stuff, man. So if you want to keep a low uh, sodium intake, then you definitely want to invest in some flavorful type of spices because it'll actually keep you in the game. Like it'll keep you wanting to eat healthy when your food actually tastes flavorful and uh, yeah, man, it just tastes good, man. It's, it's, a, it's a heck of a difference, trust me. So, um, but yeah, I got this on display because these are the main things that I'm gonna be using today in order to make this uh, shredded chicken, uh, thin spaghetti or whatnot, super green. Um, I'm gonna use this pot with a whisk to whisk my broth, but we're gonna get to that. But let me, uh, let me lean back on this locker again. It's, you know, high school locker, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me sip some of my Pellegrino, man. It's my favorite, you know? Mm. If you happen to be waiting for me at a restaurant or something, right? And you want to know what to order, and I ain't there yet, and I just happen to be late, which I'm, I'm really late. Um, you already know what time it is. Hey, Pellegrino with lemon. Hey, I'm in there. I truly appreciate it. But check this out. Let's get to it. Let's prepare. Easy. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna use one bouillon cube of chicken broth. Typically, I do a um, a reduced sodium chicken broth, but I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is use one of these, one of these. Broths are very high in sodium, and what we don't wanna do is increase the sodium within this dish because we don't want it to be unhealthy, right? So just one for the sake of flavor. If you have a reduced sodium one, that's even better, all right? So here, I done filled a pot with water, right? Not quite filled it, but about three quarters of the way. And now I'm about to use my seasonings. This is, this is my broth. I'm gonna make a low sodium, extra flavorful broth out of the flavor guide. But the ones that I'm gonna use today are, drum roll please, everything spicy and garlic lover. Everything spicy and garlic lover, all right? So I'm gonna take this, I'm 
I'm gonna pour it into the water, right? I'm gonna mix it up real good, right? Mix it up real good. Put that garlic lover in there, boom. Hold on. There it is. Yup. And that, hey, that everything spicy, man. That, that cayenne, it hits your nose. It hits your nose. I want you to get a close up on this real quick. I want you to get a close up on this. This situation. This situation, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this situation. Yeah. Ooh, the boy. All right, so now I'm gonna take this mix, right? I'm gonna take this mix and just pour it into the bowl. Just gonna pour it into the crock pot, man. Pour it into the crock pot real good, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this how it look. This how it look right here. Yup, y'all see it. All them, see all those flavors in there? You see that? You see all those real vegetables in there? You see that? Oh, it's about to be crazy, man. Now we just take this flavor filled crock pot. Crock pot. Say crock pot 10 times fast. <laughs> so now we just. Now we just take this flavor filled crock pot and do what? Put it on high. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just taking the chicken out of the crock pot, pour it into a pot, use this here with the cloth, and just mix it around real good. So by mixing it around real good, I get the shred game, you know? Get that good shred game, all right? So now, now it's shredded, right? My apologies for the steam, but yeah, now it's shredded though. So now, Next step up down here is put some water in the pot, fill it up about halfway, and put some of this lemon garlic flavor god in there. Mix it up real good, you know. That way the, the water, the taste for the noodles, actually got some flavor in it with zero to no sodium. Easy work. You see all those flavors in there, man. It's about to pop. Uh, you see that the uh, superfood veggie pasta is done. The steamer off of there. The superfood veggie pasta is done, man. About to go ahead and um, combine that thing with the chicken real quick. See what it's kale doing. right here real quick. I'll put that 100% uh, extra virgin olive oil spray on there. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that. Let that thing hit. Let it hit, my baby. Yeah. Let it wither some. Gonna add the chicken in there with it in a minute. Super green. Plate it. I want to show you what I do. I do a little of that uh that balsamic vinegar, right? Put that thing on the uh put it on the noodles, man. Put it on the noodles, man. Yeah. Mix it up real good. Not too much. Not too much, right? Sauce it up. Easy work. Easy work. Look at that. Look at that. Health, man. Health, man. Health is wealth, baby. I'm telling you, any slap. I do a little bit of hot sauce on my chicken, though, for sure, for sure. But it's slap, man. You feel good. You look good. All that good stuff, man. There it is. Shredded chicken, super green spaghetti, man. Thin spaghetti, man. This is it. It's one of the ways you propel in your passion. All right, easy. Peace.